Hi, welcome back to Garage Hammer Tactics. It's Tom today. I'm joined by my guest, Ollie. Hi. Nice to meet you. First Hi. time we've met, actually, yeah. I think. So <laughs> he's part of our gaming group. So really looking forward to our game we've got for you today, which is 3,000 points of Loyalist Death Guard versus... Uh, 3,000 points of 1,000 songs. It's going to be interesting. So the Witch Haters versus the Witch Users. Mm. Awesome. We don't do anything wrong, though. So. <laughs> Magnus did nothing wrong. Uh, mission we roll for is War of Lies, community favourite, um, hammer and anvil deployment, so really looking forward to that. The objectives are death toll, which is kill points essentially, and the other objective is War of Lies, which is five objective markers placed on the, on the table. Um, one cent centrally and two are placed either of us, wasn't it? Yeah, it's pretty much symmetrical, so... yeah. We'll pretty, show, you, pretty fair. show you the table shortly, uh, and they're scored at the end of the game, and it, you can gain more victory points or you can lose, lose victory points. So. <laughs> Secondaries, Slay the Warlord, yeah, and Price of Failure. Mm. More applicable to you because your list. Well, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll see on my my, my dice rolling and um, yeah, and how how it goes against a Primark with no Primark. Uh, it's a compulsory six turns. Um, really looking forward to how it goes. Yeah, same. Yeah, Definitely. excellent. So we'll take a look at the armies and we'll see you in the board overview. So today we've got 3,000 points of 1,000 suns using Guard of the Crimson King, Right of War. Uh, so of course in the centre we've got the Primarch himself, Magnus the Red, uh, and his bodyguard of Sekhmet. Um, Magnus today we will be using Biomancy and the Sekhmet there using Telekinesis, so they'll have uh, 3 plus plus invulnerable. Uh, to the right of those we've got the second HQ who is a Divination Praetor um, with a Paragon Blade, uh, Iron Halo. Um, and his, his squad there of Sekhmet will be using um, Telepathy, so they're Athenian. That's another squad of Sekhmet with two Chain Fists. But over to the left, we've got the uh, same setup of Sekhmet squads with two Chain Fists. However, they're Telepathy, so instead of 5 plus Invulnerable, they'll have 4 plus. Uh, just behind them, we've got a squad of three Jet Bikes with uh, upgraders have one Volkite. Unfortunately, I had to drop the metal bombs off them, but the squad of jet bikes on the right is the same setup. Um, ignore the sergeant with the power fist. That's sort of representing the metal bombs, I suppose we can say today. Uh, back to the center, we've got the final troop squad of uh, rotor cannons, uh, and they've got the thousand sun upgrade of aspect shells, which gives them shred, and they've got a rhino to go with them as well, with the dozer blade. Flanking that, we've got uh, two separate Dreadnought Talons of a single Dreadnought. Uh, these are proper Contemptors. The one on the left has Fists, and the one on the right has been upgraded to have one Chain Fist as well, as sort of represented by the uh, Bayonet Chain Claws. And then in the back, uh, we've got the Dorito on the center. Um, we've got the Missile Launchers and the Auto Cannons, and the Heavy Bolters underneath. Um, and then we've got the Vindicator Laser Destroyer, uh, no Machine Spirit on that, unfortunately points don't allow. And then finally, the Plasma Executioner Predator, uh, same issue with points not allowing. And that's all 3,000 points. Here is 3,000 points of Loyalist Dirty Death Guard. For HQs, I've maxed out all console slots. <laughs> The Warlord is a Mortificator, and his Keeper is dead with three Contemptor Dreadnoughts. But firstly, with the Mortificator, he has a Refract Field Artificer Armor, his Core Potent Starve, Bolt Pistol, Servo Arm. And then his Contemptor Dreadnoughts are one with a Plasma Cannon, Power Fist with a Plasma Blaster, Extra Armor. The next one is a Toxifer and Flamer. From Malevolence, no, not Toxic Fair and Flamer, Toxic Ferno Cannon, the big one that can go on Contemptors. A heavy Flamer in the palm, extra armor. The one at the back is Twin Linked Auto Cannon, Graviton Gun in the palm of the Dreadnought Chain Fist, and extra armor. Have another fun game, hopefully, with those. It's my Primark for this game. <laughs> And the next console is a Siege Breaker. It's what I use for Rask, but I'm just going to run him as a standard Siege Breaker this time. 
So bare bones aside from the Rockhart Serpenter and Thunder Hammer, just standard power armor. Bring some Tank Hunter and Wrecker to some shooting attacks. This is my trusty and favorite Moritat. Everyone loves him, everyone hates him. Two plasma pistols, artificer armor, refractive field, and a cheeky channel saber. Those are all the HQs. Uh, first of the elites is an apothecary and detachment of two copy and paste apothecaries, both with power swords, both with combi plasmas. One of those will be running with the destroyers in the drill, and the other one will be with the missile launcher squad. I'll get to those fully in a second. And as you've seen them, and as I always run them, this is my favorite unit of destroyers. 10 man strong, two missile launcher suspensor webs. Sorry, suspensor web missile launchers. It's not just rad grenades or rad missiles, though. I've equipped it with the psych out psych missiles from Malevolence. As I'm facing Thousand Suns, I need all the anti psych I can get. I've also upgraded them to have psych out grenades. We'll see how useful it is. They've all got metal bombs. Uh, the sergeant has it, my usual loadout of hit one phosphorus bomb, artificer armor, and his power side, as you can see. In the dedicated transport of the termite drill, standard side from two twin link Falker chargers. Hopefully, we can pop up and have some more fun, but they run me well. I'm probably due some bad luck with them. The troops, my standy and trusty tactical squads. I will be upgrading these at some point. So I've got some breaches in the works, but. I'm a slow painter, as Sean and Sam will happily tell you. The Rhinos are both with extra armor and dozer blades, my usual standard. And the Sergeants have got melted bombs and power size, no artificer armor. That's the troops. Uh, as you can see, the heavy supports, but we'll do my one and only fast attack. Storm Eagle. Hopefully, and fingers crossed, it can do better this time with delivering some Terminators. As you saw in my last game against Sean's Alpha Legion. <laughs> Wasn't so successful in anything it tries to shoot at. It's got extra armor, as I learnt my lesson. Twin link multi-melter in the nose and Hellstrike missiles. Fingers crossed. The first heavy support is the five Grave Warden. All with chain fists and with their grenade launchers. Usually pretty good. A lot of blast templates can come out with them and those crack grenades if I need to. Trying to run the Leviathan and hopefully it can do a little bit more damage this time. I know it's not the delivery method of choice with a drop pod, but it's in the works. Honest, stick with me, I'll get it out eventually. Graflex Bombard on one arm, Seize Drill on the other with a melt gun. Nipple Flamers, Phosphex Discharger, <laughs> uh, Armour Ceramite. Always run it like that, as it is, or with the Metal Lance, which is magnetized. Hopefully one day when I get the drop pod done. And the last heavy support and unit of the army is 10 man strong Missile Launcher Squad. Only upgrade with them is the Augury Scanner on the Sergeant. And my plan is to have the Siege Breaker in with them, with an apothecary. Hopefully it lasts a bit longer than they usually do. 3,000 points of Death Guard. Here we are deployed. You see the armies. 3,000 points of Death Guard. I, I won the roll off. <laughs> I decided to let Ollie deploy and go first because Magnus scares me. I need to know where he is and obviously you chose to deep strike. Yep. Uh, so I've still got the three squads of Sekhmet, uh, one with Magnus attached and one with the Praetor attached to come in. With re-rolls, should be second turn. <laughs> All of the Thousand Suns goodness and mm. a decent right of war as well to boot. But we'll see what we can do. So the objectives for War Allies, there's one centrally demanded in the middle, right there. And Ollie and I decided to essentially uh, symmetrically place Set objectives, second one there, third one there, and then same again, one there, and... Beyond the jet bikes. One there. 
terrain, all of the ruins are four up cover, and these area terrains here are five ups. Really looking, really looking forward to how it's going to turn out. All of Ollie's tanks and the ace fixed shells equipped turret cannons, deployed on hammer, hammer anvil style. A long way to go, but he's got some ability with his tanks. For, uh, tanks, not tanks, bikes, shall we say. And then my mortificators in the middle there. Interestingly, as they are treated as a squadron, it's a four inch coherency. I haven't placed them quite so far apart, but I've placed them enough apart that it looks a little bit better than standard two inch Leviathan, missile launcher squad, one apothecary, and the siege breaker, and then tactical squad, tactical squad. I have my destroyers in reserve and the Grave Warden and Storm Eagle in reserve. And obviously, Ollie said he's got his mm. Terminators. Yep. I am not going to seize, so we will see you at the Thousand Suns end of turn one movement. Okay, so um, here we are at end of uh, turn one Thousand Suns movement. Um, so the jet bikes, both squads have moved left to try and uh, get in range of those Death Guard infantry in the back, especially the missile launchers, they look quite nasty. Um, Everything else, so the, the Dorito and the Vindicator laser destroyer have um, tried to get in a position where they can shoot the mortar factor with his contemptors. And the uh, other two dreadnoughts have just made slow progress through the terrain. Um, they ask the rotor cannons won't have anything to shoot. Just stay out of still, range. Yeah. Staying still for now. Just watching, watching shoot. Thousand ones, uh, turn one shooting. Um, slight correction from the movement phase. Um, I only moved this Predator 6 because it's got no range or line of sight yet, so I'm going to move it at full 12. And then he'll flat out to another six, and then another six flat out. That's him done. Both the dreadnoughts are going to run. So for this one on the right, one, it's fleet, so I'll re-roll that. Three, I'll take that. And, and for this one, two, I'll re-roll that. Five, much better. So turn one shooting continued. Um, jet bikes shooting the uh, Death Guard missile launchers. Missile launchers. So we've checked range already. So six shots, heavy bolters. One miss. Uh, threes to wounds, strength five, toughness four. Oh, five wounds. Five free ups coming through. I've dropped one, but I do have an apothecary in there. So five up. They get everywhere, those guys. Uh, nope. Drop hey, one so far. You didn't get there. And for the last, uh, the bulk cut shots from the other guy. So three hits. Strength six this time, so twos. That's three armor saves there. Three free ups. Nope, Ooh. I dropped two. Does the apothecary make him get back up again? Yes. He's a busy man. So same setup for the jet bikes, same target, different direction. So the Volkite first this time. Three hits again. Three wounds, wounds on twos. Three free ups. Ah, I drop one. No, I get a five up. No, I still yeah. one down. And D flag. Yep. Yep. One more. Uh, three up. And then the heavy bolters from the same squad at the same target. Four hits. Strength five, so wounding on threes. Three. Three three ups. No. We dropped two again. Does that apothecary pay for his money? Just Eight. about. Saves one. One more drops. The Dorito um, is going to shoot the mortar factor squad with his auto cannons. Um, the missiles can target different squads, so they'll target the Death Guard missile launcher squad. Excellent. So the uh, three missiles at the infantry. Uh, hits on two, so two hits. Strength six, AP three. Oh, oh no. no. I'm happy with that, but that's <laughs> just unfortunate, that is. Straight uh, to the auto cannons then? Yep, straight to the auto cannons. Uh, so hits on twos, twin linked, all hit. Um, strength eight, Sunder, so 13, isn't it? So yep. fives. Sunder. That's why we have Sunder. Two pens. Two five up involves. Made one, mm. but fortunately the Mortificator has essentially a fill no pain as well. That's one whole point. And a penetrating roll to, to roll for then, Ollie. Oh, yeah. Ah, oh, weapon destroyed. Weapon destroyed. Ollie's penetrating roll. Can only see said contemptor here with the plasma cannon and fist. We decided off camera one to three was a plasma cannon, and then four to six was the fist. I was going to roll. 
And he's fistless. <laughs> I'm down a whole point. As Ollie caused three casualties on my missile launcher squad, I'm due a leadership check. Leadership of nine. Just. Turn one over. Um, was a bit difficult with positioning wise because um, he put all his dreadnoughts on this side. Um, so I had to move some stuff around. I also uh, left the Vindicator out of position and then ran the dreadnought in front of him so couldn't actually have line of sight anymore and the Predator had to reposition itself as well. But the shooting I did get off was pretty successful, so happy with that. Yeah, I mean, you, you forced the morale check. Unfortunately, I made the morale check, but still three missiles out of 10 down, isn't it? So, mm. excellent. More to come. Here we are at the end of Death Guard Turn 1 movement. Still all early days at the moment. Both rhinos have just moved there six inches to consolidate onto some objectives. Hopefully I can hold out for the onslaught of the Thousand Suns. We shall see on that one. Fortunately I didn't immobilize, immobilize myself moving on to that objective. So I'm just doing what they do, staying still. Mortificator and friends has just moved the composite, well, standard six inches up. Try and bring some pain. And Leviathan, not the ideal way to deploy a Leviathan, but still trundling on up. Gonna hopefully survive long enough to do some damage and pay for itself. Death Guard turn one shooting. So I didn't ollie and move my contemptors right in the middle of the line of fire from this missile launcher squad who were trying to draw a bead at Predator, predator execu Executioner, mm -hmm. isn't it? Yep. So unfortunately, only three missiles can see. Anywho, deal with what we can do. Freeze to hit. Uh, only two hit, unfortunately. Excellent. Strength eight. Front armor 13. Mm -hmm. so fives with Tank Hunter. Uh, oh, from the Siege Breaker, that is, but I don't need it. You will be getting a cover save of a five up through intervening models. Mm hmm. Uh, which, any preference? Uh, take the pen first. The pen, saved. And the glance, glance. saved. The mortificator, they're gonna try and do a little bit better shooting than the missile launcher squad. They've all got essentially split fire, uh, so long as each model fires all of its weapons at one unit. So the plasma cannon, contemptor, so that's all he's got left, is gonna fire at the jet bikes and then the autocannon and graviton gun, or just the autocannon because it's the only one with range, is going to fire at the predator. So to resolve first, it's the plasma cannon. Ollie's going to bring in the template for me because I've only got so many arms. <laughs> Placing it just there, so hopefully clip two. Uh, hits. hits. PS5. So that will be two hits to roll to see if they wound, but Ollie has declared to jink. I forgot to mention it in the previous clip. So twos. See, I did roll one one. <laughs> there, was, there was a discussion, but yeah, so only one wound. Uh, so four up? Oh, no. Drops a, drops a bike. One goes. We'll get rid of the sergeant guy because he's confusing. And the autocannon firing at the predator. Although I couldn't do mass in my head, it will be sixes to glance, but twos to hit first to a link. Doesn't matter. Can I roll any garages? I can't roll any garages. So morale check for the bikes. Yep. I drop one. Leash of eight from no sergeant there. So. Uh, Seven, just, just in. That's the end of Death Guard turn one. Overall, standard Tom Whiff. This dice here for the bikes is just to remind us that they had jinked. Ollie made a, a morale check just like me, just one below the, the required value. Those missile launchers could have done a lot more. Then again, I could have fired at a different target, but hey ho, then the Mortificator and Contemptors Happy I forced morale check, just didn't do enough damage on anything else. And complete faux pas on my, I should have just shot the auto cannon at the bikes as well. Hey ho, you live and learn. Right, so top of turn two, um, Thousand Suns for uh, second turn now. Uh, so we got some reserves. Uh, Magnus, the red, grants reroll for FET reserves, whether failed or not, um, at your discretion. Either so, way, it, yeah. see if he comes on. So you've got three rolls to roll for, is it? He doesn't have to be on the board for this either. No. So. so so, starting from the, le from the left as we see it over there, um, so that's the Terminator squad with Telekinesis and Tartarus. Oh. Uh, Magnus' squad. It's coming on. Oh, and the Praetor. <laughs> They're all, all on. on. You didn't need those re-rolls anyway. Nah. 
Uh oh. So we'll we'll place one model from each squad and see how that works out. <laughs> so we've got the three deep striking squads. We've got one member of each on the table. Uh, this is Magnus' squad here. And we've got the, the Telekinesis squad and then the Praetor squad over there. Um, so we'll roll for scatter for each and then figure out okay. what happens. <laughs> yeah, we'll measure them off camera. Yeah. Doesn't matter. Yeah, so Magnus is in. Happy days. Uh, that squad. Ah. In. And the Praetor. That way. Ooh, nice. Six. It should just about be all right. We'll, we'll see. <laughs> I'm 2P5P. Ollie lucked in with the scatter. We were thinking that it could have been a trans translocation into the wall here. <laughs> but they are all touching as best they can. Um, I'm happy with it. Yeah. This is why I don't take 10 man squads anymore. <laughs> you learned your lesson. Yeah. Uh, so in the movement phase, um, the jet bikes are snap firing, so they've just moved out of the way. Um, both dreadnoughts have moved up slightly, as is the Predator, so it can try and target the nicely packed together Devastator squad. Um, and yeah, the Terminators have deep struck all su successfully just about. And uh, hopefully the Vindicator can actually get some shots off this turn. I reckon it's going to be a, a painful shooting phase and psychic phase to come. Thousand Suns, uh, first psychic phase, uh, get turn two. Um, warp charge pile, uh, 18 versus four. Yep. That's... So, might be, might be one-sided. <laughs> so, uh, first up, um, we've got the squad here, the telepathy. Um, they are going to cast Mental Fortitude on their, their own unit, so which will make them fearless. Um, so, Brotherhood of Psychers, any of them can cast it, but for argument's sake, just in case there's uh, perils, we'll say it's the guy with the banner. Cool. Uh, so, it's warp charge one. Yep. Need force to cast, so I'll put three dice into it. Yep. Ooh, no, they failed. Are not fearless. So here we've got the Telekinesis um, Terminators. They're casting Crush onto the Mortal Factors Dreadnought Squad. So it is Warp Charge 1. Um, and if it goes off, it's, it's roll 2d6. That's your strength. It's a shooting attack, essentially. Cool. Uh, so force to cast. I'll put four dice into it. Goes off this time on three. Three. Yep, you can keep that. <laughs> yep, so that goes off. So it's 2d6 strength. So 8, eight. AP 5, five. so that's useless. Still got a roll to hit, yep. so strength 8, rolls to hit, hits. hits. And another one of those 5s uh, or 6 yep. to do anything. No. And then probably lastly, uh, Magnus is going to cast Endurance onto the Terminators in the middle there, the Telekinesis ones. So it's Warp Charge 2. Um, but he casts on three plus, so I'm just going to grab one more dice. Goes off. Goes ne off. Needed that dice. So I'm going to throw everything at this, not I can probably stop it. <sighs> um, you did. Walk trust too. Mega. You stopped it. Slight correction. I only rolled two sixes. I would have need to roll three sixes to negate all of Ollie's successes. So endurance does go off. I now have some tough terminators to deal with. Toxiferon will have some work to do. Uh, Thousand Suns turn two shooting. Let's start with the laser vindicator. He's not moved, so he's going to overcharge for three shots at the Mortar Factor squad. Um, I'm also going to roll the overcharge now. You meant to do it at the end, but just so I'll forget otherwise. Forget, yeah. So three hits. Twin links. All twin links. All hit. Oh, and the overcharge. All good. All good. Uh, so these are ordnance, so I'll just grab another couple of those. Yep. So, uh, needing fives. Strength nine, isn't it? Yeah, strength nine, so that's a glance. So, yeah, actually needing fours. Nope, definitely mm -hmm. not. Last one, and a pen. Yeah. So, a pen and a glance. I won't be getting a cover save against this. The line of sight directly through that archway there. Ollie can see the contempt nice and easily. Which would you like me to take me first? Uh, the glancing Glance first. first. So five up. Nope. Do I get a five up feel no pain? Oh, I do. Yeah. And then the pen. So, uh, so the jet bike squad here that are snap shooting because uh, they jinxed are going to shoot the Death Guard missile launchers again. Priority target. Yeah. Um, so six is to hit. So heavy bolter. No. Bolt kite. Ooh, One hit. One hit. Twos. Twos to wound. One wound. No. Nope. And D does, flag. Does my... Oh, sorry. Sorry, oh. Apothecary first. Nah, never mind. Saves it. Uh, it's this jet bike squad. Only the one on the right, as you see it, can actually see. And you can only see two. So one heavy bolter. All hit, though. All hit. Three Easter wounds. Three wounds. Three up armor saves. Oh, 
Mm. One, two, does the apothecary work? He does not pull his weight. Plasma Executioner Predator is going to shoot the Death Guard missile launchers. Unfortunately, I can't. I could only target these two, and I can't see him because of the Dreadnought in front. So I've got to target him, and we've pre-measured it, and it ended up here. Just so we'll roll just roll the scatters. So the first one hits. The second one misses. Uh, one inch that way. Two. Yeah, the two front guys. Cool. And then the third shot that way. Be less than four. That's cocked. Six. So that will hit uh, two inches. There'll be no one probably. So that's four hits total in Ollie. Yep. Uh, so shank seven, so two to wound. All wounded. All wounded. Uh -oh. AP two, but you get your apothecary, of course. I get a uh, cover save. Yep. So four up. Mm. Mm. Fortunately, I have an apothecary in there, but I don't think he's got his work cut out for him. Mm. So two down. No more shooting at my missile launcher squad. Can I roll a, a successful morale check? Yes. Yep. That's pretty much the end of the shooting phase. So just to declare that the Dorito is going into Skyfire. Um, and then we've got some running. So this Dreadnought, Ooh, I'll keep tasty. five. This one, two. I'll re-roll it with Fleet. Yeah. Oh, mistakes. Um, these Terminators are going to run. Two. Can't re-roll that. And these ones, five. So I'll just do that and then we'll... Recap. Yeah, so uh, turn two recap. Um, psychic phase wasn't that eventful because uh, most of the stuff's either vehicles or in vehicles at the moment. Um, shooting wise, bit of shooting. It took some more. Ki killed a few devastators. Yeah. Uh, still didn't run away. Um, Dreadnought's just kind of moving up and uh, the Terminator just tactically rev drew slightly, hoping that the uh, Dreadnoughts will trip up on their way in. That's if I send them that way. Mm. And then you've got your Praetor on your. Yeah, nice, they yeah. just moved up towards the objective. Beginning of Death Guard turn two. I have some reserve rolls to make. Mm. So my Storm Eagle and Grey Warden, Ooh. they're not coming on. And then my Termite with Destroyer's Moritat is coming on. Mm. Yes. So my Destroyer Terminite, Terminite? My Destroyer <laughs> Termite. <laughs> it's just there, but we've got to resolve its subterranean assault rule. I'm going to go for there and see if I can... Let's see what we can get before I chat about it. <sighs> yes, I'm happy with that. On target. Here we are at the end of Death Guard Turn 2 movement. Here's the finalised result of the Destroyer and Terminite arriving. Bang on the objective. It was bang on. I've moved the, the hull, still touches the template, or touched the template where I originally left it, so the objective is just around there, as you can see. Destroyers, more attack, and apothecary. See what we can do in there for now. Uh, Leviathan moved up. Maybe trying to fire some phosphex that said terminates in the middle. More attack, no, not more attack. It begins with M, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> Mortificator and friends moving around slowly. I don't know what I might be trying to do with that Toxiferno cannon. Who knows? As Ollie quite correctly pointed out, he did advise me to move. My, one of these rhinos at least, just so I'm a little bit further away and have at least moved to when it comes to the combat because they're probably going to get in on his turn three and makes it harder for him to hit slightly. I did originally roll a one. Fortunately, my invisible dozer blaze saved me. That rhino stays still. And of course, the slowly whittled down unit of missile launchers has stayed still as well. First up for Death Guard shooting in turn two, Mortificator. Toxiferno cannon, going to try and negate the endurance on the segment in the middle. The plasma cannon, going to shoot through the archway onto the segment as well. And the anti armor contemptor, it's not really going to take out any armor, but just fire its auto cannon into the jet bikes. I'm going to start with the auto cannon first, as I have two dice in my hand. <laughs> Two's twin linked. Hit. Both hit. Strength seven. Strength, uh, toughness five, mm -hmm. so twos. If I can roll some dice properly, that two is. ups, not jinking two. Both fire. Next up, Toxiferno cannon. It only just clips uh, the combi bolter of one segment. Strength seven, AP four, tainted. Thankfully, it has shred, as I can't roll dice. <laughs> twos to wound. Garage. Oh, and it's rending too. So that is a. Uh, are they five up, four up? Uh, so they're five up Tartarus, 
four up because of telekinesis, and then because of the right war and the deep struck, it's reroll ones as well this turn. So four up, saved. The last output from the Mortificator is a plasma cannon. It's going to drop its blast template on said segment there. Roll the hit. Hits. Hits, fortunately. So that's three. Three hits, strength seven, toughness four. That's two wounds. I know what I have forgotten to roll is it gets hot. No. It's fine anyway. Uh, so two four up invulnerables. One failed, you got uh, it. Yeah, one failed, uh, but endurance kicks in, so four plus field no pain. Yeah. There we are, all good. This is why sec meta dirty. Let's see if the Leviathan can do better than the Mortificator squad. Graphflex Bombard. Ollie's going to kindly paste a template. Fortunately, 18 inch range of the weapon. It's just on his head. Can just on his head. Roll a hit. Thankfully, it's a hit. Yeah. So that's five, five toughness tests. I was slightly wrong. It's on a strength test, not a toughness test, but it's 2d6 on mm. said characteristic. Um, so starting as from the right as you were looking at it. So it's for each individual person. So um, one wound. He's failed. Second one. He's passed. Yep. Um, the middle guy, he's passed. passed. Ooh, yeah, right. The sergeant now, he's failed. Okay. And the last guy on the left, he's failed. So that's... So the sergeant and two normal guys. Yeah. They all have to roll involved saves separately, I suppose, don't they? Because it's a, a characteristic attack. Yeah. So this, on, it's AP2. Yes, it? it is, yeah. So one on the right. So the one on the right, passed. Yep. The one on the left, uh, failed. So endurance for him. Yeah, I forgot about that. No, he oh. takes a wound, that one. After all this firepower, I've got one wound through. And the sergeant. Um, oh. Reroll ones, though. Oh. We passed. <sighs> they are so tough. Next off the Leviathan is a phosphate canister shot. One use it. You know, do all I can do at this segment unit. Uh, we'll roll for the initial hit and resolve the rest of them off camera because barrage is, and calling fire so is. Uh, quite... Four is a hit at the moment. Okay. We are scattering some distance, mm. so we'll get back Maybe to not. you with that. <laughs> Through all the admin of calling fire and how far it's scattered, the end result is essentially... Two inches left. Two inches, my right, Ollie's left. If the first shot, and it clips free, so then the next flip flips towards me, clips two, mm. one. Two, yeah, just. And the next one flips away and probably just clips... Flips from there, doesn't it? Flips from there, then moves another two inches back. Oh, so yeah, two. So two. Yeah, so seven hits. Three, uh, poison three up. Uh, dropped two, so five oh. wounds. So that's five invul saves. Ollie's going to look out Sir so, Sergeant. So four pluses for that. Ooh. So two on the, three on the Sergeant. Three on the Sergeant. Uh, so he's got... AP2, yeah? Yep, so invuln save. So fours. Um, and then endurance. Two endurance rolls. He's fine. So he's fine. And then, and then the generic guys, both passed. Both invulns. passed. That red dice there is just a reminder for us to um, remember the grab flux of the bombard. Just a pin and check off the bombard though to finish it off. Oh, so they fail. They are pinned. Mm. Missile launcher squad, going to see if they can be proved a little bit more effective than they have been so far. Four missiles left, firing at Ollie's Predator there. Needing freeze to hit. Three hits. Strength eight, front armor 13, so five to glance with Tank Hunter. Ooh. Tank Hunter? No. One glance, one pen. See what the result is of the pen, as there's no cover save and there's a weapon destroyed. Mm. That's an expensive rhino. <laughs> <laughs> now for the Death Guard, more attack, side armour, see what we can do. Chain firing up to a maximum of 12 shots for strength 7, side armour 12. Mm. Hopefully, Ollie's going to kindly keep count of this. I'm going to re roll the same dice up to 12 times. So the first one hits, hits. second one hits, third one misses. Two hits so far. Next gun, I'll resolve the overheats in a sec. One hit. Two hit, three hit, and a miss. 
So five hits total. Five hits total, and then two invuln saves. Invuln? Uh, arm, arm save, saves. yep, yeah, thank you. Uh, fortunately, saved them both on his Artificer Armour. Five strength, seven hits. Mm. One, one pen. One pen. One armour save, or one invuln yeah. save. One invuln, five up, no. Ooh, ooh. See what we can do. Nah, it's just four. Snap shooting. The apothecary in there. He's going to use his one use combi plasma. Same target. Priest to hit. Uh, and it overheats. Free up armor. Ooh. He's okay. Shrink seven. Oh. Five up. Pen. No, another pen. Through. I'm going to roll that again. <laughs> bye bye. It explodes. So the explosion is D6 plus one for the Dorito. <sighs> Two inches. I think I might be safe from that. The Termite is going to unload the Volkite charges into the Rotor Cannon Squad. Four shots to unlinked, meaning freeze to hit. All hit. Strength five, toughness four, so freeze to wound. Three wounds. Three saves. One failed. One failed, so one deflagrate roll. One more save. Oh, two down. <laughs> Lastly, for the Death Guard shooting. Both rhinos are going to unload their combi bolters on the Sekhmet squad with the Praetor back here outside of 12 inches. So I'm just going to roll these both at the same time. Ollie's a, agreed with me. Um, so just two shots. Both of them hit. Let's see if I can roll that again. So one wound. I reckon you'll be two right. Up. That caps off Death Guard turn two. I'm not going to do any charges. Uh, there's a Primark that I'm scared of. <laughs> Call me what you will. But I'm being conservative. I'm happy with the result of my Morata and although it was the uh, plasma gun off the apothecary that, well, combi plasma sorry, off the apothecary that sort of the Derrideo so my flyer is a little bit safer to come on. Taking out the main weapon armament of the Predator, good, good. Whiffed in the middle though, I could, uh, what, what did I do Wally, one wound was it? Yeah, one wound in total. Yeah, they are some tough cookies. Magnus is still there. Scary as always. Wasn't really expecting to do much with my combo bolters into the Terminators, but you can never know if you force an armor save, you force an armor save. All in. Still got a bit of a storm to weather. A Thousand Suns turn three. Um, no reserves, they're all on already, so straight into movement. Um, we've had the Dreadnoughts kind of move up here. The Sekhmet in the center are pinned. Um, the Sekhmet near side to you. Just moved up towards the objective, um, and as have Magnus has moved towards the center, center objective, and that one as well. Uh, the jet bikes have given themselves some range and pivoted to um, assist the rotor cannons in taking out the destroyers, and the predator has just kind of moved to block off, so the vindicator can still take um, some shots at the dreadnoughts, and the rhinos kind of move around to cut, put a couple of bolt shells into them as well. Maximum weight of fire, and you mm. just rotated a few of these. To get yeah, the so, some shots. of them can see that we're nearer where you are now due to the terrain, so I've moved them up so they'll be getting less shots and losing the bonus to hit. Thousand Sun Psychic Phase uh, rolled on 2d3, I rolled a maximum of three, so we've both got that. And then Praetor, Magnus, and three squads of Segmet. Wait, you chuckle. That's an awful lot against <laughs> what I've got. So, Thousand Suns uh, turn three Psychic Phase. We're starting with uh, this squad over here. So telepathy is the squad, divination is the praetor here. Um, so we'll start with mental fortitude. They'll, the guy with the banner, pick him because um, it's Brotherhood of Psychers and we'll say he's going to cast mental fortitude on themselves. So it's warp charge one. So put three dice into it. Perils of warp. Oh dear. So it goes off though. It does. Um, so perils of the warp oh. on the table. Four. Follow up from Perils the Warp, uh, roll the four, which means one of them suffers a wound automatically, no saves of any kind allowed. Um, I allocated it to that guy, as I said earlier, so he suffers it. However, because of Thousand Suns Legion, scared of uh, flesh change and such, um, so now everyone has to take a pinning check. Um, that is the Thousand Legion starts Thousand Suns rule. However, at least Magnus is on the board, so it's Legion 10, so that's something. So we rolled that off table. Uh, what we were intended to do was summarise what ones had actually failed a pinning test, but what happened there, Ollie? Uh, well, Magnus is on the board, so he said, don't worry about it. <laughs> Good times. Anyway, So next um, power. Yeah, moving on to the Praetor, casting Divination this time. 
So it's Warp Charge 2, um, 4s to cast, so I'm going to put uh, fours, uh, 5 dice sorry, into it. Cool. So this will essentially make them all re-rolls to hit, which is obviously useless for Storm Bolters, but just in case I get charged by some Dreadnoughts yeah, next turn. Yeah, you'd be alright. Yeah. Uh, double five, so that goes off. Yeah. Do you want to try and... I'm not going to try and stop it. Okay. So it goes off. It's five dice gone. So lastly over here, um, we're going to use what was invisibility, what is now Mine Howl. Um, so within 12 inches, I'm going to try and put Mine Howl on the Mortifactor squad, which means that they will be reduced to BS and weapon skill one. Cool. So casting on fours. Ooh. No. No dice. Doesn't go off. How do you feel about that? Well, it would have been pretty good to have Dreadnoughts going around not yeah. knowing what to do. I've got to be honest, that was what I was going to throw all my <laughs> deny the witch at. But anyway, I'm, I'm a little bit happier about that. So lastly, Manx is going to cast Endurance again on the Terminator squad in Tartarus in the centre. Um, so that's Endurance, Warp Charge 2, casting on 3s with Magnus. Ooh. All goes off. All goes off. I can't. Uh, I'll throw my dice just for some fun. No. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Happy days. More tough Terminators again. See, there's nothing wrong with the th Thousand Suns Psychic Force. <laughs> okay, start of uh, Thousand Suns turn three shooting. I'm going to start with the rotor cannons shooting the destroyers down here. Um, I've got Aspects Rounds, which is re roll to wounds. He's got an Apothecary, so we'll see if it cancels out. <laughs> We've got a lot of dice to roll. Yeah, so I've got five guys that didn't need to move. Um, so they get four shots re rolling ones to hit. Of the others, because um, it's Salvo, they get only three shots and they don't get. Okay, hence yeah. the two piles. So we're going to roll those separately. Yeah. So the normal guys take out misses. We roll ones to hit would have been useful there. Yeah. Um, so we'll keep those to one pile and then the next lot yeah. to hits. Re rolling ones on these. Re roll the ones. Oh, that's a miss, sorry. So 21 hits in total after all that. Um, strength three, so fives to wound, but with shred because of aspect rounds. Those were the successful wounds, so the shreds re-rolls resulted in 12 wounds total. Now I've got four destroyers before my sergeant, so I'm going to roll these four at a time with apothecary saves as well. So, all good? All good for the first four. Second four. Ooh. Two, two, two apoths. Two five ups, one down so far. So, last four. Or oh, three. I'll so. do three at a time, so that's okay. And then I roll one more. Yeah. Poff, Kerry, can you help me? Oh, it does. Only one. One shot from the Rhino into the Destroyers. It's outside of 12, unfortunately. Uh, hits. Mm -hmm. Doesn't wound. A three man squad of jet bikes are the Destroyers. Uh, so we've got the Heavy Bolters and the Volkite. So four Heavy Bolt hits, three Volkite. Yep, so the Volkite wounding on twos. All wound. And the Heavy Bolters wounding on threes. Three so three and three. Yeah, can you take the Volkite saves first, please? Sure thing. So three, so one drops. Does it bother carry? No. no. So it's a D flag on that. Yep. Wounds. Wounds. He's okay. Mm -hmm. And then three heavy bottles. Yep. Ooh, Ooh. Two drop this time. And the apothecary. carry. So two, two total. Uh, another two drop. The last jet bike squad now. Um, so one Volkite, one heavy bottle at the destroyer still. So, the Volkite and the Heavy Bolters, uh, one miss from each. Cool. And the the twos for the Volkite and threes for the Heavy Bolter. Ooh. So, can you take the Volkite first, please? All do. Three on the Volkite. Drop one. Mm -hmm. Does the Puffer carry pull through? No. And D flag? No, no, no D flag. And two, two heavy bolter. for Heavy Bolter. Oh, Puffer Gary. Nope. Mm. Mm, done quite a bit of work on them. That is five destroyers dropped. I say that's a pretty good effort. Morale check. Oh no. That's a fail. That is a fail. How far do we start running? Back to your deployment as well. Mm, ten inches. Oof. And it's negated them. You're doing well there. So my destroyers were there, they've now run to there. What's shooting next then, Ollie? Uh, so that just about puts them in range of a single uh, pinned Terminator. Um, so he's going to try and snap fire at the destroyers as they run away. Yep. So six is to hit. Oh, oh look at that. Twin linked anyway for a combi yeah, bot. Yeah, it doesn't still. matter. That's good effort. Uh, it's a wound. One, One wound. wound. It's a free up. 
<sighs> Makes it. So Magnus' squad of Sekhmet um, are going to shoot the destroyers as well. He's, his serpenter is out of range at 15 inches, unfortunately. So five twin link shots from the bowlers. Ooh, look at his twin links. Mm. Two hits so far. Three hits so Three far. Hits. Must be really long range. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, force to wounds with re-rolls for shred from Aspect rounds. Three wounds. Three free ups. Oh, I drop Off. one. Ah, I drop another one. Uh, so I think lastly for the shooting phase, the Vindicator, laser destroyer, straight through the arch again. Different dreadnought this time, the one with the auto cannons. So he's gonna fully overcharge, so three shots, twin links. Huh. All hit. And the overcharge before I forget. Oh. Ooh, he does take a whole point though. Did it probably do more damage to itself than I will do to it. <laughs> um, cool. What do we do then? So ordnance. Uh, was yep. it five I need, so nothing. No, nine, sorry, so yep. fours. Yes. Still nothing. That's it. One pen. And the last one. So two pens. Two pens. Okay. Two five up in bonds. Uh oh. Re rolls. Two five up administrations. Oh. Uh oh. Uh, so on him, one at a time, isn't it? Otherwise it will come back. Yeah. So AP1. So that's six immobilized. Immobilized. Six immobilized takes another whole point. So it's one wrecked then. Yeah. Yep, Thousand Sons Assault Phase. So at the top of the table, uh, that squad of Segment and the Praetor will charge the Rhino. Uh, in the middle, uh, the squad of Segment there are pinned still, so they can't do anything. Um, and here with the fleeing unit, the two dreadnoughts and it's open the jet bikes are going to go in. We've done enough damage so far, so if you can finish them off. Yeah. Um, as I, I got a test regroup, checking the rules before. Charge rolls are made. Ah, oh. they fail again, so they're fail removed. So, is that right? Yeah, they are removed as casualty at the end of the it, charge. Sub if I don't make any of these charges, so <laughs> this dreadnought, uh, he's got fleet. There we are. He's in. Yep. So now they're removed as casualty. Yep. So do I still roll for everything else? Uh, I guess. I assume you, you did declare all of them. So yeah. I guess so. Them, six, nine. Sorry, the jet bikes. They're out. Those jet bikes, yeah, they're right. out still. Yeah, so cool. Only the two so the two, two, yeah, two dreads. And at the top of the table, uh, gets the Rhino. Uh, seven? Yeah, that's definitely in. After a bit of rules reference, Ollie and I have determined that although the contenders didn't fight in the combat, that my destroyers were removed as a result of a charge mm. and having to read between the lines and not a very... Accurate FAQ. Bit of a unique situation, I We're guess. We're going to determine, uh, long, too long didn't read, is uh, these get to consolidate. So this one nearest me and the one furthest away. Yeah. Cool. So Just so they can face the other way. Yeah. And we'll get shot in the back. Okay, so Thousand Sons Assault Phase, turn three. Um, I'm going to forgo the Praetor at the moment just because of pilot. I don't think he could have got to the vehicle anyway. So we'll just go straight to the three power fists that are there. And then if we really need to, the two chain fists. I don't um, think it's going to be needed. With prescience, I've got re-rolled all fails to hit. So it moved, so hits on threes. Yeah, I think you'd be all right. Re-rolling at those. Two misses. Um, strength eight, obviously, with a power fist. Yeah, so, so two used to do anything. Yeah. Yeah, that'll yeah. wreck it. So um, how many pens Five there? pens. So five chances to make it go boom. No. None of them do it. <laughs> Fortunate. We didn't make it explode, obviously it's wrecked, but um, the chain fist would have been the same initiative, so we'll just do those as well, see if it does go boom. So, all hit but one. Reroll for prescience, all hit. Yeah. Uh, lots of dice rolls here. Armor Bane. Yep, Armor Bane, so each is two dice together. So, first one. Yep. Pans. Second one. Yep. Pans. I mean, a double one would do it, so I don't know why I'm rolling this, actually, in yeah, retrospect. Yeah, just all pens. Yeah, so, so six pens. So six Could have done the maths there. We're yeah, just... we should have done. Anyway, six dice, see if it explodes. Yeah, okay. Explodes. Yeah, it explodes. It so, um, how far? Two inches. So, all of my guys, all of your guys. The segment have exploded the vehicle. Um, ten guys inside, so fours for them. Thankfully, I've not got any artificer arm on the sergeant, but anyway. Three, three up armor saves. Uh, no damage for the death guard, but that is six. Strength four hits on 
Oh, there's a segment. Oh, only two? Two. Could be enough to kill one segment. Uh, it's think, not. I think you're okay. <laughs> <laughs> Overview, Thousand Suns, uh, turn three. Not... You did quite not, a bit. Not terrible. Um, managed, I thought I'd whiffed a bit on the destroys with all that shooting, but then they broke and I managed to chase them down, so that was pretty fortunate. I did the work for you, didn't I? Yeah. Uh, thank you for that. So... You took out a Contemptor. Yeah, de debust those guys over there, and yeah, killed a well Rector Contemptor actually with some lucky Vindicate fire. So yep. uh, pop the Rhino. Slowly closing the noose on them. So see what they can do. Yeah. Hopefully my uh, Storm Eagle comes on next. Otherwise I'm a little bit behind. Start a Death Guard turn three. Then I've got my Storm Eagle to come in. I could do with it coming in. No. Oh, oh dear. That's how the rest of this is going to go. I reckon. End of Death Guard turn three movement. As my Storm Eagle decided to not appear, I'm a little bit lost. <laughs> uh, Mortificator abandoned the wrecked Contemptor, moved round, trying to still stay effective but not run away too much, because Magnus is there. <laughs> missile launcher stays still, not really a lot I can do. I'm gonna try and unload in some missiles into some segments that have a lot of involved. Leviathan wants to bring some hurt to some contemptors that took out a fairly expensive unit of mine because I can't roll morale checks. I was debating on whether to do a, a tank shock, or not a tank shock, a ram and move with my drill because it does have some extra strength on the ram. In the end, I decided to bring it around the back of the one hole point predator, see if I can unload with a Volkite or two Volkite charges. Start of Death Guard turn three shooting phase. Ollie was kind enough, as I hadn't actually rolled any dice for shooting yet, he let me move my apothecary that I'd forgotten about that has a combi plasma to draw a line of sight through that hole in the wall. That's his set map. I'm going to fire with the combi plasma first, just purely for rapid fire range. Two shots. Let's see what we get. One hit. Two to wound. <laughs> At least he didn't kill himself, but that was a waste of 10 points. Missile launcher squad are going to try and redeem that apothecary. Only three missiles can see through that window at the same target. Hit on freeze. Um, apparently no. Hmm. Two misses. Two to wound. That is one wound. Two up. Yeah, you're right. Ping. Termite. We're going to load its Volkite charges into the rear of the Predator with the one hole point. See if I can just finish it off with some kill points. Three is twin linked. Hopefully that is twin linked. Mm, only three hits. I think five rear ten, so five nice. to glance. It's gone. It is. Next up for the Death Guard, the Leviathan. It's going to do what it does best and try and take out some armor. The Palm, melt a gun. It's going to fire first. Needing twos to hit. It hits. Mm. Strength eight, front armor 13, so. Ooh. I'll do it. One invuln save then, please, Ollie. Uh, it's a glance, isn't it? Yeah. Five up? Yeah, you're uh, good. There we are. Next gun from the Leviathan, Graflux Bombard. It's going to, thankfully, Ollie's here to throw an extra pair of hands. Hold it. Holding the blast template. Roll for scatter then. Mm, one inch. One inch, so still, it hits. still clips it. Resolving that one hit against the Contemptor for the Graviton Collapse is 3d6 for armor penetration. Front armor 13, so, yeah, no. Next up, shooting for my Death Guard. I'm going to Fury the Legion. Some horrible looking segment. It's going to be a bit of dice admin. Uh, 38 shots total because the sergeant can fire his bolt pistol twice. Out of 38 shots, 25 have hit. So after 25 successful hits, I've got 13 wounds through. How would you like to take your saves then, Ollie? So, with the units being as they are coming, the Wind rolls coming straight in. I'm going to say the Praetor and this guy at the back are kind of in the same position, so I'm going to roll them four at a time. So uh, two plus saves, Ooh. one down. Uh, so that'll be a wound on either him or him. So it's still fours though, rolling in batches of four, because they ain't dead yet. So the second four is fine. The last four, oof, two down. So that will kill one of them and a wound on, so there'll be a wound on him. And then the last one. Yeah, good. So he's got a wound, he's died. Not too bad. Not too bad. Mortificator, 
And two contemptors are going to shoot this time. The Toxa, Toxaferna cannon can't reach anything with a template, but the heavy flamer in the palm can just clip this front one here. So that's a heavy flamer hit. We'll free up. Uh, no. Hmm. Well, you should have declared that the plasma cannon was going to fire a different unit. Can draw a line of sight through to this jet bike squad. All is kindly placing the template for me. And I can't roll, but it does hit just. Yeah, does hit. So see two. Under there. two hits. I should roll to see if it gets hot first. Oh, the <laughs> I'll roll okay. it again. Fortunately, yeah. I'll get it right eventually. I'll roll it in the right sequence, but you know. Anyway, two's to wound. I'll drink. Yeah, I'll I should have asked that. that <laughs> two drink rolls, I make. Uh, fours. Ah! Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'll snap fire in there. Cool. That's the end of my turn three then. Not a very successful one. The highlight was the termite putting their final hole point off the predator. Thankfully, those jet bikes are jinked and snap fire in the next turn. But, yeah. What can I say? They've already taken out my destroyers. Uh, the Leviathan whiffed completely against the Contemptor and failed his charge. Dropped three wounds off the segment. Happy, sad that they're still there. <laughs> and the Apothecary whiffed completely, but and the Missile Launcher Squad also didn't do very much. Oh well, more to come. Thousand Suns turn four, uh, end of movement phase. So the rotor cannon guys have uh, dropped down to eventually get to the objective over the next couple of turns. You rolled a whopping six, yeah. just, didn't you? So you can straight down there. Um, the Vindicator had to move slightly, so he's only going to be firing one shot this turn, so we can see the um, the contemptors. The jet bikes move forward uh, or backwards. Um, they're jinking anyway, but they're going to try and plant some metal bombs on the drill. The contemptors both move through, through the terrain. Probably both going to try and charge the Leviathan. Um, the Terminator is still suffering from that Graf Flux, uh, they only rolled two on the difficult terrain so they might not get in against the Mortar Factor. Uh, Magnus and his friends have decided to do a bit of the conga line, as have the jet bikes on the other, on your near side there. And the Praetor and the Sekhmet are going to destroy those tactical marines. I should say so. They're going to melt their minds. So Thousand Suns, Psychic Phase, turn four. Um, we're going to start with Magnus this time. His first power is going to cast Smite. Um, he doesn't need line of sight for Psychic Powers, but I think I might just be able to see the Edge tactical squad there anyway. Cool. So um, it's Warp Charge 1, he casts on 3, so I'll put 2 into it. Oh. And fails. <laughs> Let's hope that's not how it keeps going. <laughs> so next, I'll cast Endurance on these guys. From Magnus. From Magnus. Um, so 3 is to cast still. It's Warp Charge 2, this one. So, hence four dice, goes off. On three, so, yeah, oh, I'll try and stop it. Oh yeah, it goes off on three. <laughs> uh, yeah, no. Next up, warp charge on Magnus, it only affects him, plus three um, attacks and initiative. Uh, three plus, I'll just chance it with one dice, goes off. Praetor, here on the left, uh, will cast Precognition on himself, um, gives him reroll, fails to hit and wounds, and failed saves. Yeah, cool. So it's War Charge 1, I put 3 into it. Goes off. Off his squad though, uh, guys with telepathy, I'll use the Primaris power, Psychic Shriek, mm -hmm. onto the tactical squad in front. Yep. So it's War Charge 1, casting on 4, so I'll put 3 into it. You happy with that? Yeah, well, yeah. Well, it no, goes off fine. anyway. Yeah, that's fine. So that goes off. Yep. Um, so it's the Witchfire power, um, 18 inches, 3d6, subtract the leadership. So does the Witchfire hit first? Yeah. Yeah, you still got to roll to hit. <laughs> so lastly, the Praetor squad um, are going to cast Mind Howl onto them. Used to be invisibility. Uh, so it's still Warp Charge 2 though. So four pluses, yep. goes off. So they are now Weapon Skill Bliss Skill 1. Cool. We'll just use the wow. card to remember. I say cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Not cool. Uh, so starting turn 4, 1000 Sun shooting phase. Uh, we'll start with this chip bike unit, taking some shots um, in a heavily in cover Rhino. So we've had a look and we've agreed that this guy um, is going to end up giving three plus cover saves because he can. He's in the side arc, but he can only see the rear. So these guys will just give four, normal four plus cover saves yep. because of the uh, ISO containers. So the Volkite and the Heavy Bolter. 
So the Volkite did a lot of missing. Uh, so strength six, uh, side armor 11, so fives, that's a pen. And uh, strength five, so six is needed on that. So nothing from Novi Bora. So one, four up. Nope. Nope, so that's, do. that's one. Uh, wow. No combi bot for me. Combi bot, oh no, what a shame. Um, uh, and the remaining jet bike with heavy bomber missed completely, he's that much in cover. Leadership check for the guys inside. Just. So moving on to uh, the Vindicator, he did have to move to get a better line of sight this turn, so only one shot, but threw at the Toxiferon cannon contemptor, so he's now shot over him. Uh, so one single shot, twin links. Oh, twin links. Twin link though. Yeah. yeah, so it hits, uh, and it's ordnance. Uh, yep. So I need, that's exactly what I need, fives. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so one glance. And my ministrations of the Mortificator, come on. Are you happy with that, or do you want me to take it uh, again? Yeah, that's definitely cocked. Okay. And that, that is a pen, actually, in retrospect. Uh, it's still cocked. Okay. There we Didn't matter. Better. How many times can you reroll a reroll? <laughs> <laughs> so uh, what does it do then? So it's strength nine, that was actually a five, so that's a pen, yep. isn't it? So, uh, and mobilised. Six. Is it AP1? AP1, yeah. Oh, yeah, it's mobilised. Happy days for you. So, next on the list, um, the Contemptors haven't got any viable shooting against the Leviathan. Uh, same situation for the Sekhmet in the centre if they're going to charge the Dreadnoughts. So, we're moving on to Magnus, who's got a D3 Sci Fi Serpenta, but it uh, doesn't have D flag, it's basically a plasma pistol at strength 8. So, D3 shots, one. Hits on twos. Hits, uh, strength eight, so fives to clients, nothing. So I think lastly for the shooting phase, we've got these guys here. Um, so the segment do have asset rounds, which gives them rerolls uh, to wound, which the Praetor doesn't. However, he's got a psychic power doing the same thing. So the only difference is he's gonna hit on twos with rerolls and they're gonna hit on threes with rerolls because it's all combi balls. So uh, that's, <laughs> that's cocked. Cool. Yeah. And these guys take out the misses. Rerolls. One miss. And yeah, so one miss out of that. Okay. And then strength four, winning on four as we reroll. Ouch. Uh, so one fail to wounds. Eight. I have no artificer armor, so this is going to just be eight armor saves. Mm. Three ups. And I drop mm, four. four. Right, I'll check on the tactical squad. Loving yep. it. So actually, I just noticed the jet bikes, um, they are snap firing, but they've got Volkite and it's, it's front armor 12, so it's sixes followed by sixes, but give it a go. Nope. It's always worth a try. Uh, and I'll just run the uh, rotor cannons. Two. Thousand Sun's assault phase then. Uh, so charge, we'll have the two contemptors into Leviathan. So this one first. Um, difficult terrain as well, so... Mm, definitely mm. use the fleet reroll, I think, for yep. both of those. Oh, nine. Yeah, so I'll seven. That should be should be enough. Easy. Yeah, easy. I will overwatch my metal gun just yeah, over here. Should do that. No, that's fine. Okay. Next up, so the second contempt of charge in the into Leviathan as well. Uh, we've just measured it's nine inches, so sorry, seven inches, so it'll be nine with difficult terrain. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Someone can charge. Right, so next on to the uh, segment in the centre. Uh, we've just measured it and it's six inches actual, so eight inches on the dice for difficult terrain. That's a no. So these jet bikes into uh, the Rhino, so it's minimum of five. Yeah. That'll do it. Struggling to fit them all in, so I've put him there. So dangerous terrain Turk. Fine. Good. So these segment bullying the poor tactical squads. <laughs> um, they're, some of them are an inch away, so I literally need three for difficult terrain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah so yeah. that's in. So these two jet bikes with the metal bombs are going to try and take out the drill. Uh, so five inches minimum. They failed. But Magnus and his bodyguard are going to try and charge in here. It's six, so eight inches. Uh, fuck it. No. You can take that four back. That was a drop die, but I don't think you get it again. <laughs> well, eight is yeah, yeah. Eight is not going to work. <laughs> Never mind. Ugh. I piled in as best I can with these guys, um, but the rhino hasn't moved apparently. So. Uh, strength six crack grenades, yep. fours to do anything. Yeah. One, two pens. Uh, it's, it's wrecked. wrecked. Uh, it won't explode, it's AP4, so they disembark. Pinning disembark. It's a result of my emergency disembarkation from the wrecked, uh, the wrecked rhino. I was struggling with my R's then. Uh, death guard immune to pinning, so I don't need to take a tip there. 
All right, so moving on to the, the dread off, um, I'll start with the, uh, the, one, the one on this side, on the left, uh, who hasn't got chain fists. So it's going to be fours to hit because they're both the same weapon skill. Yep. One miss. Uh oh. Um, 13, isn't it? It is. So three is to do anything. Uh oh. Uh, so one pen, three glancing. Which first? The doesn't matter, I suppose. <laughs> okay. Got four whole points. Yeah, I'll do the three glance first. Ah, oh, wow. Saved them all. And then the one pen. What damage? Oh, that oh, goes through, though. <laughs> that would have been nice the other way around. AP2. Uh oh, oh that's cocked. Definitely cocked. One, nothing. Uh, Just a whole point. Yeah. So we're still in initiative four. Um, everyone's going to get to attack at initiative four. So um, the other Dreadnought has two chain fists modelled, but can only actually have one as a chain fist. So I'll do one normal attack um, with a Dreadnought close combat weapon, four as chain fist. And the normal one, they will hit anyway. Uh, so the normal one, three to do anything, does nothing. The other ones have Armour Bane. So it's 2d6 added plus 10. So, yeah, three on two. Yeah, so pen. Need threes. Pen, pen, pen. So four pens. Four in ones, please. Come on, Mr. Levy. Four in ones. Oh! oh. He's done Ouch. Right. He's done all right. The Vyathan's turn to hit back. I'm going to focus my attacks all on the Chain Fist equipped Contemptor. My dice rolling. It's probably better to try and focus hit. So I hit twice, fortunately. First one. Yeah, yep. three will do it. And then the second one, yeah, that's yep. two pens then. <laughs> Only sixes for me. Neither made. So what was the result? Nah, just two whole points. Sure Continuing the assault phase onto the Praetor attached to that segment squad. He's got precognition off from, um, so he's re-rolling all failed to hit and to wound. Um, he's only got four attacks, five on the charge, didn't have enough money for uh, Points <laughs> for <laughs> sorry. Points for the upgrade. So uh, uh, hitting on threes. Yeah. No master crafted. No digi weapons. I reckon I'm losing this combat. And that's a reroll from yeah the card. So yeah, hitting on threes and wounding on threes. Uh, Five dead. That's, didn't yeah. even need the reroll. No, he didn't. Ollie has kindly let me look out sir, one of those wounds. Oh, he oh, does. Yes. Fortunately, he's on his own though. This is step three then. My sergeant. It was reaping blows, piled in to give himself base to base contact with two terminators, giving him plus one attack. Need him forced to hit. Only one hit. Need him freeze to wound. It's only one wound. Yep. Five up. That's definitely cool. Yeah, uh, reroll it then. Yeah. Loves it. Uh, continuing at initiative step one, um, I've only uh, moved up one of the one of the segment. Uh, otherwise, the Praetor will be miles out of coherency. So. Uh, nine attacks from three guys because I charge. Hitting on threes. Ooh. Four, sorry. Yep. Uh, that enough. should be enough. Enough to kill him, unless you roll that many ones. Uh, yeah. Couple. Four, <laughs> three times. Four <laughs> Doesn't times. matter. He's dead twice over regardless. Yeah. It's a uh, winning combat for you. But they've just consolidated two inches. So, turn over view then. Um, not a terrible turn. Bits and bobs, failed two big charges with Magnus' squad and the other squad of Sekhmet in the centre. Um, yeah, the Leviathan did very well, saving seven of eight saves. Yeah, um, and you failed, failed two of three, was it? Yeah, but only six plus on me, so True. even seven of seven four pluses is pretty pretty impressive, to be honest. Unheard of for Tom. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah, your turn four. Death Guard turn four movement. Storm Eagle finally decided to show up. Could have used it last turn, definitely. <laughs> Very well. Come in flying. Zoomed on 18. And try and pick on some segment in the middle. Notificator decided to turn around and take out, or try at least, some, turn, some more segment in a Praetor. Running away from a scary threat. The tactical squad have moved around. See what they can do to stop them from contesting. And my termite. It's just moved around behind the Vindicator. Death card shooting. I'm going to start with this tactical squad and loading some bolt pistols for a possible charge later on. Ten bolt pistols. Six hits. Five's the wound. Hopefully I can get a little bit of the same. Three wounds. Three. 
Free two ups and Ollie. Now you're good. Next up to shoot for the Death Guard. Mortificator and friends are going to unload on the sex map. Everything's coming in there, so that's the heavy flamer first. So three hits off the heavy flamer. Freeze to wound when I get the dice out. That's all wound. Yep. Uh, three saves, they're all normal guys at the front. Two ups, yeah. Happy. Yep. Toxaferno cannon now. And a bit of wang angling, wangling, however you want to say. Catch four. Strength seven, so twos with shred. That is one at AP2. Mm -hmm. And then three normal. Uh, so AP2, there's a five plus on these guys. Fails. And then three normal saves. Oh, double fail. Two wounds so. done. Some of you were probably screaming against us in the video on YouTube. These are, what's the psychic power? Uh, mind howl. Mind howl instead of invisibility. So I am only weapon skill, but a six skill one, but I, I don't, this doesn't affect templates. As far as we can tell. As far as we can tell. So next up to shoot, I'm gonna try the Mortificator's bolt pistol. He needed a six to hit. Nope. nope. And then it gets plasma. hot for the plasma cannon. I roll it in the right sequence this time. It's okay, mm -hmm. so I can shoot it. Uh, target in the most amount of hits possible. See how far it scatters. A long way. Uh, yeah. Five inches. Five inches, aren't they? Should be about over uh, there. Complete with Four missiles left of the missile launcher squad going against the same unit as the Mortificator fired. Let's see what we can get. Just needing freeze to hit. Three hits. Two is the wound. That is three two ups then. Right. Um, so I've got one guy just about stood in front of the Praetor. Yep. So I'll take him on him first. Yeah, that's right. Nah. He's dead. Yep. And one more, was it? Yep. So I look out, sir. Independent character, two plus. Looked out, sir, onto the banner guy. Uh, he's yeah, all right. That's fine. The Valkyrie's Penta off a Siege Breaker. And draw a line of sight at the segment still. One shot. Hits. Freeze to wound, wounds. On the Praetor. Oh. Precognition, reroll saves. Which I forgot last time. Slight oh. step back. The, the Toxaferno cannon removes all psychic blessings when it successfully wound it, wounds a unit. Mm. Having read the rules to the letter. So So even though this is on the Psyker, not the unit, he's part of the unit, so it's still removed. Yeah, so he takes a wound as per the Volkite Spencer shot. Finishing up the shooting for that squad is a Bolt gun, or the bolt gun side of the combi bolt off the apothecary. Freeze to hit, one hit, freeze, and that's not what I needed to wound. So the morale check, um, which has killed a couple of those now. For that squad, it is 10 though, because of Magnus on the board. So yeah, they're fine. Yeah, fine. The termite is shooting next. I'm gonna try and rinse and repeat what I did last time against the predator, against the laser destroyer. So four shots, twin linked, twin linked. That's fortunate. Uh, um, Far it is. Uh, it's gone. It's gone. It One plan. It can't explode anyway, can it? No. Storm Eagle shooting next. I'm going to load all four Hellstrike missiles with its contingent that it's allowed to shoot for a flyer special rule at Sekhmet and then Machine Spirit, the Twin Link Multi Melter on the front. So I'll start with a Twin Link Multi Melter. Hitting on threes. Hits. Winning on two. It wounds. Just one invuln save. Just one. Uh, so fours for them. Four health strike missiles now. Hopefully I can do a little bit more with the weight of fire. Hitting on threes. Oh, fortunately they all hit. Mm. Wound on twos. Three wounds then, Ollie. Uh, so three four plus saves. Um, I won't get my feel no pain, but they do have Eternal Warrior from yeah, Endurance at least, so I went into the gym them. So, so one, one dies. dies rather than two dying. Death Guard charge phase, or charge sub phase. Tactical squad is going to go into the jet bikes. Would you like to overwatch? Yeah. Uh, so we'll start with the Volkite. Ooh. Uh, two hits. Yeah. Two to wounds. Two wounds. Two wounds. Oh, I dropped one. D flag. Another one. I don't drop another Some one. Words. And the heavy bolters. Nothing. One hit. One, sorry. One, one wound. Ah, dropped another <laughs> one. I dropped two guys, so slightly harder charge. I made it anyway. <laughs> Next up, charging for the Death Guard. The Mortificator is going to charge into Sekhmet and Praetor. Not needing that f much, really, to get in. Yeah, that'll do it. Mm -hmm. Seven. 
First up for rolling some dice for attacks. We're going to start with this combat here, the Leviathan. My turn, so Levy's going to go first. Three attacks. Oh. Mm. Yeah, so yeah. That, that's where my fours went. It's last turn. <laughs> yeah. Return attacks with the um, Chain Fist Dreadnought. Uh, four attacks, hitting on fours. There we are. That's a lot better than me. Uh, so, Armbane. Need yep. threes. Pen. Yep. Pen. Pen. Yep. Anything like last turn, you'll save them all again. Uh, don't say that now. Ah! <laughs> See, I can, why can I roll that to hit? I don't know which I prefer. Yeah, Death Guard, resilient. Power Fist them. Uh, yeah, Power Fist guy, so four from him. All hit. Yep. Threes to do anything. Ooh, uh, one pen, one glance. Okay, which you'd like me to take first? Doesn't matter, I think. I'll take the pen first. Yep. And then the glance. <laughs> that is a slugfest. I think they're going to be there for a while. So this combat here, um, Praetor will move up three inches at his initiative. However, um, he's not in base combat, so he can't attack. Even if he was, he can't hurt the Dreadnoughts, and he can't. he's not allowed to target the Mortal Factor due to the Mortal Factor's rules. So we've kind of decided that issuing a challenge should also be out of the question for that reason as well. Yeah, it's a bit of a fate, uh, fuzzy rule, to be honest, but it, yeah. it needs FAQ at the end of the day. Hopefully it will shall arise when they redo the addition. Mm. Initiative step five pile in, yeah. want to himself, which is come round onto the second mount on his own there. Four attacks for three base, one for charge. Uh, need three's to hit. Three's to hit, only two hits. So that is one successful wound. Uh, normal armor safe. Saved. Okay. And this shift step four for the Contemptors this time then. Uh, ignore that fist on the Plasma Cannon Contemptor. That was taken out in the first turn of shooting by the Southern Sons. I just haven't ma magnetized it, so he's only kicking. I just remembered they are mind held. Fortunately, I got no damage through with the Mortificator at uh, Initiative 5. Uh, I would be weapon skill 1, so I need 5s to hit. Mm. So let's try that. I still get 4 attacks on each of the Dreadnoughts, though. 5s to hit. So the uh, Power Fist Dreadnought first. That's 1 hit. Mm. And then Punching and Kicking Dreadnought. That is another hit. This is but this is shred, so the AP two shred wounds mm -hmm. and the standard one wounds. Normal safe. Uh, whichever you feel like. Normal safe. Fine. Yep. And then invon uh, safe. Invon. Uh, one dead. We initiative one step. Um, one power fist dude remaining. So just two attacks. Hitting on threes. Yep. Uh, and then rolling like that again would be nice. <laughs> Strength eight, so five. Oh, oh there we yeah. Are. Two pens. So two sixes coming up. Nope. Mm. Two fives. Oh yeah. One five through. So one. So one through. Oh. Boom. Um. Uh, one to three is your left. Four to six is that one. I'm happy to take it as the one that I'm in combat with. But. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's fair point. Yeah. Go on. In. Um. So uh, how, how far does it explode? explode? Two. It went kaboom. Two hits on Ollie's terminators. One wound. One safe. Cool. And for you, nothing. Nothing. For those of you wondering, my Mortificator is fearless, and the unit's counted as fearless for uh, combat resolution. And we're treating it as drawn combat because I only got one wound through. Oh, only failed one mm. save. I failed one save, so it's drawn combat for the terms that I don't get to run down the rest of his squad. Next combat, my tactical squad versus the jet bikes. My turn, so I resolve my initiative fours first. I get 14 attacks hitting on fours. Ooh. Seven hits. Even five to wound. Mm. Ooh. <laughs> that's a lot of sixes. So that's four two up saves then, Ollie. Four two ups. Okay, good so far. Two attacks each because they all come with uh, close combat weapon as standard. So fours to hit. Two missed. Three missed, sorry. Uh, fours to wound. Two wounds. Two wounds. Uh, two standard guys first, so three ups. And this is step three for the sergeant with his power scythe. Three attacks. I can't quite get into base contact with more than one bike. So that's all I'm getting for the plus of the charge. So that is two hits. And then force the wound, strength five. One Ooh. wound. One dead. Uh, no. They're telekinesis, so I've got six plus and vulnerable. Yep, cool. No. So I've lost combat there by one, so eight minus one is seven. Oh, That's definitely failed. 
Initiative off. It is initiative. I'll make minus one to this because of death card special rules. You make it out of yeah, there. You get out of there. And I fall back 3d6. A long way. Yeah. 10. Actually, we just remembered uh, Magnus makes everyone leash at 10. However, they still would have failed. So they still fled. Yeah, he rolled 10, but would have. He rolled. He, yeah. Would have minus been, one yeah. to that. Anyway, you get the point. Uh, D6 consolidation, three inches. Mm. That's the end of Death Guard turn four. Mm. It's just that I don't think I'm winning the attrition rate here. I'm losing more, or mine quicker than Ollie's losing his. My Leviathan is somehow holding on by the skin of his teeth. This termite over here is slowly picking stuff off, but is largely exposed and beyond that, not doing an awful lot. Glad that my Storm Eagle's finally on. Not so glad that I only managed to drop one Terminator. That live with what we can get. Again, Missile Launch Squad, not done an awful lot this game. And Mortificator, I've now lost one more Dreadnought. I'm on my own. <coughs> Sorry, YouTube. And then the Tactical Squad, I was quite happy that I managed to make the jet bikes run away. But still another couple of turns yet. Uh, Thousand well, Sons, start of turn five movement. Uh, just before we start movement, we've got to rally these guys. So leash at 10 for Magnus. They're back in it. Uh, so Thousand Sons, uh, turn five movement. Uh, Magnus and his bodyguard have moved up a bit. Uh, maybe take some pot shots at these guys. I'm not sure if they'll need the help. I don't know. Um, if they do need the help, possibly these guys can help there or, or the Leviathan. Um, they're definitely going to make their charge into the drill this I time. Should, I should say so. Um, and the rotor cannons are just slowly moving up probably do a bit of running uh, and those guys regrouped and the rhino moved up as well maybe take a shot next turn at least at the uh, tactical squad hiding in the ruins so we're going to try and do some psychic shooting with magnus um, so he's going to start with smite uh, it doesn't need line of sight for psychic shooting so he's going to try and finish these guys off so smite on a three i'll put two dice into it yep goes off uh, do you want to try and block it i'll try and block it mm. Just. You did. Try again with Life Leech. Uh, War Charge 1, same target. Goes uh, off. I can't stop that. Uh, so it's Assault 2, Strength 6, AP 2, 18 inch. Uh, so 2's to hit. 2 hits. Yep. Strength 6, so 2's to wound. 1, AP 2. That's 1 dead. And lastly, it'll do Hemorrhage at the same unit. Yep. It's War Charge 2 this time, so I'll put 3 dice into it because he's on a 3 plus. Yep, goes, goes off. off. I can't stop it. Uh, so let's just read it up. So you need to pass two, two separate toughness tests on the sergeant, let's say, because it's focused which far. Okay. Nope, failed it. Yep. Failed it. Okay. Um, no armor or cover saves allowed. Um, if he's removed as a casualty, randomly select another model within two inches, and they pass a single, single toughness test. That's per hemorrhage ruling, as a, the sergeant failed it. One more toughness test. I can't roll it on table. Oh, I passed this one. Okay, so uh, last thing Mags is going to do is cast Endurance onto this unit here. Um, so this is War Charge 2, so I'll put three di uh, four dice into it because mm -hmm. it casts on a three. Ooh. Ah, spectacularly fails it, but Didn't no work. ill effects. Just doesn't go off. Okay, so moving over to the squad, the Praetor, um, Divination Praetor is going to cast Precognition on himself again. It's War Charge 1. So it just means he rerolls all hits, wounds, and save, saved unsaved saving throws. Uh, so it goes off. Goes off. I can't stop it. Cool. Uh, and then lastly, the squad or the one remaining member of it will cast what was invisibility now mount mind howl mm -hmm. on the squad again. As last turn uh, is still walk charge two. So fours goes yeah. off. Yeah. So you can't stop I it. I can't stop it because anyway. of how the psychic phases. So work. they are. Motion skill, ballistic skill one. Yeah, again. we'll try and remember it this time, <laughs> eh? <laughs> yeah. All those psychic attacks need a morale check. Do what we get. Nine. That is a fail because the sergeant's gone. Two uh, d six running back then. Seven inches. Great. All right, thousand sons. Turn five shooting uh, around these guys. They only went two inches. They'll get the objective eventually. Uh, the rhino just moved up six. Uh, these guys are snap firing, but they're going to shoot the. Death Guard, Tactical Marines there. So, Volkite, Heavy Bolter. Magnus' squads are going to shoot these guys. Uh, so we've got two Rapid Firing Storm Bolters. Uh, twin linked. 
with aspect rounds, so fours and re rolling due to shred. It's quite good on bolt, isn't it? Yeah. Nice so, so four saves again? Four saves against the running ray unit. Ooh, did a little bit better. Yeah. One more dead. Before we move on to Magnus, uh, these two are out of 12 but still do have line of sight, so we'll just shoot them as well. Single shot each, twin links. Two hits, uh, force to wound with shred due to aspect rounds. One. Definitely worse. How many points is it? I don't know, they're built in. <laughs> Magnus <laughs> is finally going to get to fire his uh, Serpenter again. Uh, 15 inch range, D3 shots, just the one. Hits on twos, hits, strength eight, AP2, kills. That's a very whittled tactical squad. So 1000 Suns, turn five assault phase, into the drill. Can't really fail. Yeah, in. No, definitely. Who in. knew? Segment into the back of the Terminate, uh, Dreadnought, sorry, and his Mortal Factor. Uh, it's seven, so nine for difficult terrain. That's definitely failed. Magnus' squad are going to charge the squad falling back here. I'll need to do a leadership check, hopefully. Oh, only just, so yeah. I don't get swept immediately. I'll probably fail the charge though, uh, because it is nine, so I need 11 due to difficult terrain. Oh. Nine, Didn't, not enough. I've already pointed out, as they have regrouped, so I technically get to Overwatch. Sixes, ooh, I got one. Four up, no, I didn't. Mm. Yeah. Uh, so two jet bikes, um, he did move last turn to take out the Vindicator, so threes to hit. Both hit, so Arbane. Yep. Yep. Yep, so two pence. Two pence, does it explode? Uh, AP1 or not? No. No, it doesn't explode. Just immobilised? Yeah, so that'll wreck it, won't it? Yeah. Mobilised twice. Yeah, so let's see if we can finally take this uh, Leviathan out now. Passes another eight or whatever. <laughs> I doubt it. Um, so fours to hit, this is the chain fist guy. All hit. All hit. So four armor bean rolls, so the first one. Yep. That'll do. Only threes. Yep. That'll do. Third one. Yep. And fourth one. So four penetrating and vulnerable saves again. Watch him pass Ooh. them. Can I do it? Come on, garages. No. Oh, two through. Two through. He's still got two, a whole point. Uh, and he's not exploded yet. He is immobilised. Five. Though. Correction. Not, Weapon destroyed. Not immobilised. So as the four becomes a five, due to AV2. So he's got one whole point left. Um, he's got many weapons, so that's gone, isn't it? So one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, yeah. No, great. Grab got fox. the, <laughs> got the uh, range weapon. So we'll see if the remaining, uh, the other contemptor can uh, use his remaining attacks to take that last whole point. Uh, so, four to hit, two hits, three is to do anything, Ooh. two glances. It's enough. Come on, double four. No, Finally. that's the last whole point, but I will get to fight back yep, first. Yep, you will. Before the Leviathan gets removed, I'm going to focus attacks all on the full health contemptor. So, three attacks, two hits, first arm vein roll. Yep, that is through. And the second one. Just? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, no. 15. Two pens, so <laughs> two sixes. Sixes. Neither. Neither. Two rolls and a damage roll. Oh. <laughs> just, just double snapshots, not that it really matters for that. Both on one, whole point each now. And bye bye, Leviathan. Consolidation for the two dreads, so the one with the chain fists, five, and the one closest to camera, three. So this combat, um, the Praetor at issue five, as is the console, the Mortal Factor. Um, however, the console. The Praetor has to attack the Dreadnought, but can't damage it because he's got a Paragon Blade. So, <laughs> over to the Mortal Factor. Mortificator, three attacks. I am only weapon skill one this time. We remembered it. Mm -hmm. Hey, <laughs> got there eventually, so I'll be needing fives to hit. Got one. One hit, and he in freeze to wound. One wound. One normal save on Terminator. Yes. Contemptor, initiative four, still weapon skill one. So, three attacks only now this time, so I didn't charge. Getting on fives, it's one hit. Wounding on a two. There is one wound. One look look up, sir, onto the one remaining squad guy. Successful. Looked out. Uh, five plus for him. He dies. So that means I've lost combat by two because he's two wounds, that's Terminator. Um, leash at 10 for being a Praetor anyway, regardless of Magnus. So eight. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah. Turn five recap. Still struggling from some very slow charging Sekhmet squads. Uh, Not been very successful with them in the middle no. of the um, I mean, people have kept away. I think that's part of the reason. I did uh, that on purpose. 
Uh, they did finally get through the Leviathan, the Contentors did, um, for a bit of damage, but not too much in return. So Statistically, I should have lost that on the mm. first turn that they were in combat. Yeah, yeah. ten attacks <laughs> on the charge. Um, and yeah, the, the Praetor is in a bad place at the moment. He needs someone to help him, but it's your turn next, so that's not going to happen. No. Trying to rally for the Death Guard, really. Yeah, on to your turn five. Start of Death Guard turn five. Rallies are made at the start, so this fleeing, pathetic excuse for a tactical squad. They do rally. Under Death Guard turn five movement then. Storm Eagle, dropped down to hover, disembarked, Grave Warden, I'll decide what I'd do with those in a minute, and then move 12 inches. Mm, Machine Spirit possibly, some Vengeance Missile Launcher over there. I've then got side armor with a twin link multi melter. We'll see. The rallied tactical squad over on my right flank, move three inches. Everyone else really is stuck where it has to. Um, I've not got a lot left. Certainly not winning attrition. Death Guard turn five shooting. I started off, I ran a measly two inches with this tactical squad that rallied. Try and get out the way of the scary stuff and try and hide. I wanted a six, try and get behind them crates. Didn't work, I only rolled a two. Straight on to the missile launcher squad. Hopefully we can do a little bit more than they've done so far. I'm gonna take a shot with four missiles with Tank Hunter at that Contemptor there. Three's to hit. Mm, three hits. And then strength eight front armor. So one pen so far, Tank Hunter. Two pens. Two five ups, all made. It's enough to do it though, that's all I care about. Hover and Storm Eagle is gonna take a shot next. It's gonna declare against the side armor of the last Contemptor of the Thousand Suns with one hole point with a twin link multi-melter. Use the machine spirit to fire the Vengeance missile launchers over at the tactical support squad. But we'll resolve the twin link multi-melter first. Hit on freeze, it hits. I'm definitely in melter range. Mm -hmm. Strength of eight plus these. Yeah. Happy with that? Mm -hmm. So that's a pen. Five, just one pen? No, oh, sorry, six there. Ah, fortunately, it goes through. Does it explode? It doesn't. It does not. Finally got rid of that contemptor. Do we need Avengers missile launcher now? So we're putting above him. Give Could us it. six hits. Yeah. Let's see if it scatters. It does. Wow. It, it doesn't. It hits with a ballistic skill. And the next one hits. It's so 10. So 10. Uh, hits. No, six, 12. <laughs> so 12 hits with a template. Or two templates. Uh, freeze the wound, so strength five. Total is in eight wounds. Mm -hmm. um, unfortunately, the sergeant is the second guy in line, so I'm going to have to do them one at a time until we get to pass the first guy. He's all right. One, two, He's all right. three, all right. four. He's gone. And uh, you just got two, two plus on the sergeant. Oh. He's gone. <laughs> oh no. Two normal guys. Oh. One gone. Three guys in total. So three out of eight, that's enough for a morale check. Uh, at least at 10. Judo Magnus. Yeah, you're right. Just all right. Lastly, to shoot for the Death Guard is the Grave Warden. They're going to fire their toxin grenades at the second mate in the middle. It's a plethora of small blast rolls. I'm going to have to do this off camera to see how many hits we get. We'll get back to you with the wounds. After 10 small blasts at the second mate squat. Squat? <laughs> they are not space dwarves. They are space elves. No, space wizards. Long day. Sorry, guys. We got. 16 hits? Yep. So 16 poison free ups. Let's see what we get. Hmm. 12 free up successful poison hits. Um, they're all set, Matt. They're all the same. So I'll just roll them all as one. Just don't roll ones. Yeah. Uh, one. Wow. That's some hot rolling. Straight into combat for the Death Guard. I've got no charges anywhere that will be of any use. The, Everyone way out of range for what they shot at. Straight to the Mortificator. Uh, three attacks with the Mortificator first, because as we've determined before, all his Praetor can't fight back until all the Contemptors are gone. Need in fives to hit, and I didn't hit. Nothing. Contemptor next, three attacks again. Need in fives to hit. Due to mine hole. Ooh, oh. got two this time. Twos to wound, one wound. I one. won't get shred, because I've only got one Contemptor. So I've got an Iron Halo, so four plus, and then because of precondition, I can re-roll oh, failed saving throws. So 
Four plus three rollable. Oh. 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 oh, he's gone. Splat. And do I consolidate? Oh, six inches. Mm. Happy with that. Death Guard, turn five overview. With that D6 consolidation of a six, I try to bring myself as far away as possible from the ouchy squad of pain there. But I've got rid of how many walk charges, Jolly? Was it five in the end? Yeah, five, two from the set map, three from the Praetor. Still vastly outweighs me and what I get, but I'm happy with what the missile launcher did, missile launcher squad did for mm. once. Took out Contemptor, although there's only one whole point to go. Grave Warden, mm, they're just set map. There's not really a lot I can say about that. <laughs> Or I've said it enough already. Everything else, uh, trying to bear the last turn of Thousand Sun Onslaught to come. Thousand Sun's turn six movement summary. Uh, the difficult terrain in the centre is really causing havoc with the Sekhmet, so uh, to the point that they've decided to stay where they are and just guard the objective, and they've been able to move up two inches, but that's they're not going to do that charge. Might just get a few shots off at the uh, tactical squad, help finish them off. Um, and the jet bikes can charge in if needed. You see my free up rolling, it's not very reliable. <laughs> uh, over this side, I've got the jet bikes to maybe flat out if they survive and contest that objective of the Death Guard. Grey Wardens get to it, and they're running over the dead tanks to try and get that objective. Psychic charge. Yep, so 2d6, pick the best, so we both get six. And plus your plethora of... Yep, then five for Magnus, two for each segment, and... Uh, well, the Praetor's dead now anyway, so, yeah. Okay, final um, psychic phase for Thousand Suns. I'm going to start with the Sekhmet you've got in your picture in the centre of the table. Uh, and they are going to try and uh, conjure Crush onto the Mortal Factors Dreadnought. So it's Walk Charge 1, um, and then if it hits, it'll be Strength 2d6, AP of another d6, Attack on the squad. So oh. I'll put three dice into it. On a four. Goes off. Goes off three times. Yeah. Uh, uh, solid. <laughs> Six dice. Uh -huh. I'll re -roll oh, that one. I'll re-roll one. Don't worry about that. Ah, no. Nearly. So it's strength 2d6. AP of another d6. AP4, so that means nothing essentially. Strength 8 though, that's not too bad. To which fire is it? Uh, onto him. Still got rolled hit. Yeah, front arc, so to hit. Hits. Hits. Strength 8, so fives. Pens. Five up and wrong. Okay. Made it, no problem. Uh, Magnus's squad of Sekhmet are going to cast Psychic Maelstrom from him, 12 inch range onto them. Um, it is Walk Charge 3, Large Blast Strength 10, AP 1. Is it Witch Fire again? Yeah, Witch Fire again. Okay, Let's see if it goes it's off. a Large first. Blast, so it might scatter off. Yeah. Walk Charge 3, so 4 pluses. Ooh, lucky you didn't perils. Mm. Goes off? Yeah, yeah, I, got, I, I, I shot my shot. <laughs> For his right shoulder, so it catches both. Uh oh. Uh, minus four. So three inches. Three inches. It should still clip him. Yep. Clips the dreads. I think it just misses the character. Cool. So one hit. So strength 10. Armor 13. Pens. Pens. Five up. Yep. <sighs> Sorry, I. <laughs> and lastly, Mike's just going to cast endurance on the segment in the, in the ruins in the center. It's walk charge two. Three plus for him, though. Goes yeah, off. It's off. Okay, so uh, these guys just ran five inches to the objective for, for to score it, and they've turbo boosted up to that objective to contest it as well. Um, back over to these jet bikes. Uh, they're going to shoot these guys and then possibly assault. So we've got a heavy bolter. Two hits. Two hits, and the Volkite. All hit. Um, so three is for the heavy bolter. Ooh. Ooh. And Two's. do a bit better, Volkite. Three wounds. Not too bad. That is enough to do it. Three three ups. Ah! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> there you go. D flag. Uh. Bye bye. Yeah. The segment in the centre uh, will shoot the grave wardens. Yep. Is that what they are? Yep. Uh, so one shot each. Twin links. All hit. Uh, nice. Fours to wound with Shred. re rolls. It's cocked. Uh, four. Yeah, three wounds. Three two wounds. ups then. I'll do it. Happy with that six? Yeah, yeah. Uh, so Magnus um, has got his sci-fi Serpenta, and he is within 15, so he's going to shoot the Mortar Factor unit. So it's D3 shots, still only one shot. Hits, Hits. and Strength 8, so fives. No, not enough. 
Manx's squad are going to make a long bomb charge against the Contemptor. I was worried about them leaving the objective, but they'll probably kill them if I do get there, so it doesn't matter. So, they don't make it, no surprise. No. I do have Overwatch of Wall of Flame, two flamers. So I do the Hand Flamer first of D3. So that's three, yep. and then the Toxaferno Cannon. It's one. just one. I worked that the other way around. <laughs> so three for the Heavy Flamer, Strength five, Majority Toughness four, so three. Yep. That is two. Mm -hmm. And then the Strength seven was Shred. No. Fortunately, it has Shred. There's one. Yeah, just all armor saves. All normal saves, and anything from the Mortar Factor? Uh, a little pistol or something? Yeah, well, not gonna get anything. No. Uh, so three normal saves. Oh, takes a wound on one. Uh, yeah, so that was my final turn, turn six. Um, I've got hold of three objectives with two pretty sturdy squads uh, <laughs> and one slightly less sturdy squad. I'm contesting another one that might be taken by the Death Guard Terminators. So I think I'm in a good position. I should say so. You've done, done really well. Last time for Death Guard. Yeah, your turn. What can you bring? End of Death Guard, turn six, movement. I didn't think I'd be alive at this point, so there's a little bit of happiness in my voice. Storm Eagle, I was having an R and a lot. It's still in hover mode, so I just moved 12 inches. Uh, I'll decide exactly what I want to do. I think I'll just try and put force morale check on Ollie's rotor cannon squad on the objective, hopefully, but with leadership 10 across the board, they are difficult. A Grave Warden, I'm just gonna see what I can do. It's a long way out, but we'll see what happens. Missile launcher squad, stay still. Notificator, I'm not going to charge it. It's my warlord, I'm not giving away that point in this last turn, so I just want to pepper a few more wounds on there. There was not much else I could go for. They've done their done their thing. Hopefully, my dice favour me somewhat. Death Guard turn six, shooting. Missile launcher squad with the siege breaker. I'm going to load some crack missiles through the ruins. The rhino, try and get a kill point, hopefully. There will be a Oh, max up for four. four up cover save. Get the words out, Thomas. <laughs> so, uh, hitting on freeze. Three hits. I think that's probably what they've averaged across the whole game. Yeah. Uh, with tank hunter. So that's two pens. Mm -hmm. Two fours. <laughs> All good. Nearly didn't have the sight of the dice then, but yeah, that was two sixes. Oh. Toxophonic cannon on the Contemptor with the Mortificator. Both templates of the weapons get two hits. Mm -hmm. That'd be, that'd be. I will do the Toxophonic cannon first. Strength seven, shred. Mm -hmm. Hopefully it's shred. So it's two, two wounds. Two saves and the flamer. And a free up for the heavy flamer. So three wounds in total. So three generic, all good. A sling a bolt pistol in there. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Not today. Storm Eagle's going to shoot next. I need to try and force a morale check on Ollie's rotor cannons. I'm going to go to ground because he's uh, going to melt one otherwise. So <laughs> five plus save will become a four plus save. Yeah. Cover save. So I'll start with the uh, twinning mine route first. Three. You happy with that? Mm -hmm. uh, two. That is one. So four, four cover. cover. No, so. it made no difference. The Vengeance missile launcher. Always kind of holding the blast template again for me. Uh, hits. Mm -hmm. So five. And that's five hits to begin with. And ten. Ten hits total. Straight five, freeze the wound. Ooh, that's not bad. Nine. Nine hit, nine wounds. Mm, need some more dice. <laughs> Six, seven. Weren't expecting that many, were you? No. Um, they've gone to ground, not that that affects this, but we've only got four left instead of five. Uh, one. I'm forcing a morale check, Two, that's all I care about. Three. There's one left, including the one that's been melted. Should I roll a morale check now? Yeah. You can so, do it. at least at turn. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Last bit of shooting for the Death Guard of the game. The Grave Warden are going to use the Toxin Rounds at the segment in the middle. I'm going to target in the middle somewhere, but we, again, are going to have to resolve off camera because, it, yeah, there's a lot there. <laughs> so then Toxin Rounds off the Grenade Launchers. Resolved in 12 hits. Poison free up, if I can pick all these dice up with one hand. So freeze. Unfortunately, there's only five wounds. Uh, so 
Yeah. Uh, five saves, five two plus, two with endurance. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think you, have you dropped one armor save of a I terminator mean, yet? I must have, because there's a few guys missing. <laughs> the last ditch attempt, it's Grave Warden. They're going to try and actually kill something proper instead of just whittling wounds away. They're going to charge what they can see and what they shot at. It's measured nine, so through terrain I need an 11. So Overwatch because of Tartarus. Uh, so sixes, twin link now. Pew, 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 pew. Try that again. One hit. One. It's not going to drop too many. Shred. Or none. Uh, yeah, aspect round, sorry. One wound. wound. Could kill one. Uh, yeah. uh, fortunately not. So, let's see what we char charge roll then. Oh! oh. One inch out. <sighs> one inch makes all the difference nowadays. Is, is that one shot that got saved? Put him off. <laughs> yeah. That's all she wrote for Death Guard, end of turn six. Well, not really a lot happened there, did it, Ollie? No. The most no. damage I did was some rotor cannons, but I didn't finish what I needed to do. I'm the man that couldn't finish today. but And I'm the man that couldn't charge. <laughs> yeah. We'll top up some victory points and see you in the outro. So there we have it. Mm. How do you feel it went? Um, I feel like it was going really, really good. Maybe turn two, turn three, and then you pulled it back. Or it came back, I don't know. I, I don't know. I, I think it was, it was just one or two things went really swingy for me. Mm. It, from my perspective, it felt like a couple of things went more swinging for you. Yeah. Um, but I think what held it was my Leviathan holding up your Contemptors. Yeah, he was, yeah, was it? Three, three game turns yeah. of just oh, yeah, three, taking saves. Three player turns. Three player turns of just yeah. smashing Thanks. invulnerable saves. Yeah, how many did I make? We worked it out, it was something like eight in total? Yeah, of, of ten attacks. It was like yeah. eight, eight whole points, say, seven saved in the first turn, then not too... Much worse after that, to be honest. It Def, definitely an MVP ridiculous. of Death Guard. So I guess you're wondering what the results were completely. Uh, um, death Toll, sorry. I'll get the words out eventually. <laughs> I scored six. Yeah, and I scored eight. It's close. Yeah. And then you were holding three, three objectives. objectives. Um, I got one for one of them. Rolled a, three, and, rolled a three for one. Yeah, for one and then the other two were both six, so it was minus two D3. Oh, so the total is a draw. Yeah. We both got six, six victory points. Yeah. So neither, think, of us, yeah. neither of us got Warlord, and neither of us got Price of Failure. No. So, so yeah. It's, overall, uh, it's not a loss of Death, Death Guard, it's not a loss for the <laughs> Thousand Suns. So, yeah. Yeah, it slipped away from me. It's, it's not a couple of A couple of dodgy charge phases, I think. And, That's, uh, yeah. If you'd have made those charges with mm. both your segments, i.e. Magnus and his segment, and yeah. uh, the segment holding the centre ground for the like, whole, whole time there, def there. Definitely would have got me into your deployment zone, and then I could yeah. have tried mopping up from there, I guess. Yeah, maybe. I, I enjoyed maybe. the game. The Contemptors might have smashed me, I don't know. I might have got in and they just go, nope. You did have a lot of, what was it, mind how long? Yeah, yeah, that was that was useful. That's, a, that's, a, that's one to remember, mm. as we kept forgetting until we started remembering, obviously. <laughs> yeah. Um, I enjoyed it. Did you enjoy it? Yeah, yeah. You yeah. a good time? Yeah, thank you very much for the game. Thank you for having it, me. It's no problem. Hope you enjoyed it at home. If you've made any mistakes, again, Mortificator is a very wordy unit and I find it difficult to keep track of everything. Psychic phase, can't, things get forgotten. Just be kind if you can be, but let us know if, and yeah. it helps us learn moving forward. I've, I've only used my one once and yeah. I don't think you've used it too Sec much. Second time for me and it's still a learning curve. Yeah. It definitely needs an FAQ for draw. Come on. But don't, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe on the um, watermark that Sean puts up. Really appreciating all the help and support you've given us. Um, and we'll see you in the next one. Cheers. Cheers.